I am Jasper Tibo. I'm a research soil assistant professor at the Carrington Research Extension Center at NDSU. In 2017, we started a study to examine the effect of planting dates as well as phosphorus application on the yields of soybeans. It was important for us to do this study because it is widely believed that when soybean is planted early, there's a higher responsiveness to phosphorus applied. So we conducted this study, we started this study in 2017, and we are conducting this study for the last year in 2020. We did this study at three sites, two at Carrington, one under dryland, and one under irrigation. And we did one at an off-site uh, location, Oaks, which is also under irrigation. Now, we had three rates of phosphorus. We applied 40 pounds and 80 pounds of phosphorus. We did not apply phosphorus to one of the plots. What we have found is that for all the three years that we have conducted this study, phosphorus has not significantly impacted soybean yields, except for one. So for three site years, meaning three years, three sites, uh, giving a total of nine site years, we had one single year where yields were significantly improved by phosphorus application. And this happened in Oaks, where the previous crop was potato, and the potato was desiccated. So because of desiccation, some of the microbes in the soil, the mycorrhizae, were affected. As a result, when soybean was planted the following season, this mycorrhizae did not, could not make the phosphorus available for uptake by soybeans. So when we applied fertilizer, it enhanced uh, availability and uptake by the crop. That was probably the reason why there was an impact of phosphorus applied at Oaks. But in the other locations and other years, phosphorus did not impact yields. Now, when we did the economics, we calculated, we estimated how much the farmer would have made or lost based on the treatments. In 2017, with the application of 20 pounds of phosphorus at Carrington, there was a loss of 28 or almost $29 per acre. Meanwhile, under irrigation, still at Carrington, the farmer would have lost $55 per acre. Now you multiply those by two to get the rate at 40 pounds phosphorus. At Oaks, in that 2017, the only year that we had significant effect of phosphorus on yield, the farmer would have made $33 per acre in gain when he applied 20 pounds of phosphorus. And at 40 pounds of phosphorus, he would have made $19 per acre. So like we said, for the rest of the other seasons, growing seasons, the farmer did not see any significant yield improvement. So he was at a loss. Now, when farmers uh, apply phosphorus, most often it is to enhance or increase the amount of phosphorus in the soil to maintain the level at a sufficiency uh, level. So that when next, uh, in the next season, corn or wheat is planted, you should have adequate phosphorus and just enough to apply that the corn or the subsequent crop will take up. So farmers are recommended to apply just the amount of phosphorus that the crop will take up when they have adequate amount of phosphorus in the soil. What is adequate amount? Now, when the phosphorus in the soil is less than 9 ppm, which is 18 pounds per acre, it is 
inadequate. It is not sufficient. Now from about 9 ppm to about 12 ppm, that is sufficient or that is medium. But we want, the recommendation is for farmers to apply phosphorus so that they can maintain a high level from 12 ppm to about 15 ppm. When phosphorus in the soil is above 15 ppm, phosphorus is not recommended for, uh, to farmers. Now, in North Dakota, recommendations are made because we want to maintain the phosphorus at adequate level or at high level. Secondly, to ensure that yields are not penalized when the, nitro when the phosphorus in the soil is less than adequate. We also want to ensure that there's enough phosphorus for a subsequent crop that comes after soybeans. Now, North Dakota farmers should be cautious to not expect an economic benefit from applying phosphorus to soybeans. Uh, this presentation will be available also on PowerPoint. And if you have any question, please uh, email me or call me using the link I'll have on the PowerPoint. Thank you. Thank you.